I'm 19 years old, I'm a young comedian. I hate that term, young comedian, you know. I prefer prodigy. And people, <laughs> they pigeonhole me as a comic. You know, which is so disingenuous, because I'm not a comic, I'm an artist. And I don't do comedy shows, I do one-man shows. And I've been doing them, uh, 1998 was actually my first one-man show. And it was a show about Jews in Nazi Germany called Under the Floorboards. I'll do a scene from that uh, right now. No, no, no. Watch and then judge. This is a scene from Under the Floorboards. <clears throat> hey. Shh. And in 99... Ninety nine, I did a show called The Catholic Orgasm. I'll do a scene from that. <laughs> Two thousand. I did a piece called The Inappropriate Musician. I'll do a scene from that. <clears throat> Mike. Mike, back off the ledge, Mike. Think, Mike, think about your kids. You want them to grow up without a father? Is that what you want, Mike? Mike, please listen to me. I'm your friend. No, Mike, don't jump. No, Mike, no. <laughs> He's saved. <laughs> 2001, I did John Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath, except I adapted it into a story about an intergalactic sexual predator called The Wraiths of Graf. <laughs> 2002, I did a piece, if you're familiar with The Elephant Man, I did a piece based off of that called Bulldog Man. Oh, also known as Bulldog Man, for those who have hit puberty. And I, uh, I'll do a monologue from that right now. For those listening in the CD, I kind of look like a bulldog. <laughs> 2003? Four? Three? Doesn't matter. I'm lying. 2000, 2004, I did a piece called Smeagol from Lord of the Rings having sex with a black chick. I'll do that. Uh, uh, precious. <laughs> Two, That, I actually got a Danza nomination for that. It was right after the Tonys. 2005. 2005, I get a blackout for this. I did a piece called Charlie Brown Getting Molested. So if we could blackout right now. Hello? Is anybody here? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Let go of me! <laughs> Good grief. So, 2000, uh, bring the lights up. 2007. <laughs> 2007, I did a piece called The Juggler's Wife. I'll do a scene from that. Please, stop juggling! 2008, I did a, a bit of a controversial piece because I played a slave in the 1780s, but I didn't wear makeup because I feel as, you know, an artist, I'm qualified to tell any story. And uh, it was a piece called Whiplashes, and this was a climactic scene. It is hard, raw art, so if you're adverse to that, you might want to look away. But this is um, the climactic scene from Whiplashes, and I hope you enjoy it. <clears throat> You'll have to answer to God for this. Well, psh ow! You're a dick. <laughs> and then uh, 2009, which was the last year before the piece I'm doing currently, I did a piece called, it's a very emotional piece, it means a lot to me, so forgive me if I break down. But this is a, uh, a scene from it, and, and, and the piece is called The Boy and His Dog. <clears throat> Get out of here, all right? Go, I can't afford to keep you anymore. I just, I can't, it's too, please don't make this harder than it has to be. I. I hate you. Is that what you need to hear from me? All right. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> it's not just me. My dog hates Mexicans too. <laughs> 